Hey, what's up beautiful people you see that Roma. welcome to the channel today we have this very interesting video and it's titled she left her husband of 31 years for a, an uber driver who lied about his finances also i'm excited to check this one out let's check it out this guy pretended to be rich the woman was married but started a relationship with him she left her husband and then she found out that he was a delivery boy steve was my soulmate yeah, you, you, shut the fuck up, me. Don't bring your hand up for the next lap I give you. Get it? Huh? Yeah. Not, because you deserve it. This is only because you came between me and Steve. You know how many years I waited for this? Husband asks his wife to see the text message between her and her male friend, and she responds by saying she is feeling uncomfortable and need to take the dogs for a walk and call her sister. I'm asking just to see you're a text asking. message. Yes, I am. You're, you're, no, and you're no, getting no. really nervous and fidgety. I'm not getting nervous. I'm feeling very, very uncomfortable. Why are you feeling uncomfortable? I just I, if you asked me, I would like, yeah, you could look because no. I have nothing to hide. You're, you you have some, so you have something to hide. You actually done that what ever are, in your past. What is it you're hiding? I'm not hiding a Then just hold your phone and let me see what you wrote. I am not hiding anything. Then, then hold your I phone and let me see what you wrote. From a divorce attorney. The most common women cheaters are number one women who pay all the bills number two social media influencers number three mm. nurses number four flight attendants number five breadwinners again i've cheated plenty of times in my life by the way but i'm a reformed cheater i've never i would never do it again so never again never again Sometimes if it's going to be a one-off thing and you sleep with someone one time and then you'll never cheat again and like you don't ever talk to that person again. So as a reformed cheater. <laughs> it's not. It's a that, little bit different. That's acceptable? <laughs> man cannot can never. deal with the, like, if a man starts feeling insecure about you cheating, like, that is just something that they, you just can't handle. <laughs> well, well, they can't handle it. It's not even about handle. Is a man will not accept a woman as cheating a woman there'll be a day where she regrets the decision she made there will be a day where she understands that she fucked up and her life would be better if she kept me and i'm gonna prove it to her let's watch the full version honestly men can men can do it but can they deal with it no does it make it okay for men to cheat no does it also make it okay for women to cheat no and that is the narrative many people paint they say men cheat all the time but nobody talks about it but the minute a woman cheats then it becomes a problem that's because listen men do it they they, they see it as okay but would they take it would they accept it no it doesn't mean make it okay that a man would cheat or a man should cheat like people even cheat for the filthiest reason Men's own is even crazy, but women, some women cheat because somebody's giving them attention, their partner did not give them attention, like, this is crazy. But yeah, let's go on. Let's watch the full version of those videos for a better understanding of today's content. You need a cigarette because you're like, fuck, you need a cigarette. You can call your sister. I'm not going to harm you. I'm not going to hurt. I'm not going to put my hands on you. I don't feel comfortable. I'm not going to put my hands on you. You can call your sister. I don't feel comfortable. You can stay. You want, I thought talk. you want to walk the dogs together. You can record whatever it is that you want to record. I'm going to walk my dogs with You're me walking both the dogs. and talk to my sister and tell her how uncomfortable I feel right now. She's going to go to bed. It's well past her bedtime and I hope she picks up. How are you going to... Like, I, I cannot. I cannot. I've, I've, you've known me for 11 years. I would never put my hands on you. I don't believe you. What? That's mine. Those are mine. Those aren't yours. Wow. I'm asking just to see you're a text asking. message. Yes, I am. You're, you're, no, and you're getting not. really nervous and fidgety. I'm not getting nervous. I'm feeling very fucking uncomfortable. Why are you feeling uncomfortable? I just I, if you asked me, I would like, yeah, you could look because no. I have nothing to hide. You're, you you have some, so you have something to hide. You have not actually done that. What ever are you, actually done that what, ever are, in your past. what is it you're hiding? I'm not hiding. A then just hold your phone and let me see what you wrote. I am not hiding anything. Then, then hold your I phone am, and let me see what you wrote. Okay, I'm going to go. Liam, let's go. Right now. Okay. I made her cry. Yeah, because you're you're cornered. I'm cornered. Yes, you because you're you because you're me. doing something that's wrong. That's I'm why. If, if you then that's let wrong. me see. Hold your phone and let me see if you're not doing anything wrong. Fucking thing that's wrong, and the fact that you're. 
Because I saw the text messages that I read that you wrote was someone that's a little bit thirsty on your end. Again. <laughs> it's kind of like. Thirsty. Yeah, on your end. Huh. Brothers, you must be willing to walk away when you clearly know that something like this is happening. You must understand that walking away is our greatest power when we find ourselves in a similar situation. I can tell you that this marriage is over. Uh. But seems that this brother doesn't know it yet or doesn't want to accept it. As a man, when a relationship comes to this point, there is no more talking to be done. There is no more conversation. We must move on. We must leave. This is what a man is supposed to do. This woman is clearly doing something that she is not supposed to, and he knows it. We all know that women are emotional, which means she no longer like him. She no yeah. longer wants to be with him. Uh, true. My brother, accept it and move on. She will respect you for it. Let's read some comments of this video. She flipped the script and played victim. Divorce her. Huh. Going out for a walk to erase the messages. Divorce. All the women justifying and defending her actions are exactly the same as her. Y'all would rather die than be accountable for your wrongdoings. When it gets to this point, the relationship is over. Sure. She's going to come in and say, fine, you can read the message, and after this I want a divorce. After she erased the ish. It's the I don't feel comfortable, as she takes her time to leave out the house. She is definitely cheating. Sure. You got all the proof right there. Sign those papers and live your life. You already got your answer, sir. Move on with your life. I have cheated plenty of times in my life. Wow. Like what the, everybody, most of these um, commenters have said there, yeah, it is absolutely true. Now she's here saying she's not feeling comfortable or she doesn't feel comfortable because he's um, seeing the messages or seeing the text messages. I mean, you've been married to this person and all of a sudden because you're feeling uncomfortable because of a text message and you because you've been caught now you're feeling uncomfortable wow and she rather walk the dogs to go delete the message than talk about it interesting this is just the end i mean uh more than likely this type of woman will come out here to paint it to say she is being in an abusive relationship or the man was uh, doing something to her that she doesn't like or um, she regrets knowing him, being with him. Like they're always going to paint a narrative to satisfy or to make them look good, which doesn't make sense. It's so sad that this is what we'll have to deal with all the time but yeah let's go on times in my life by the way but i'm a reform cheater i've never i would never do it again so never again never again sometimes if it's going to be a one-off thing mm -hmm. and you sleep with someone one time and then you'll never cheat again and like you don't ever talk to that person again so as a reform cheater <laughs> it's not it's a that, little bit different that's acceptable <laughs> no it's not acceptable but like it's more understandable i don't know i kind of think everyone deserves a one-time cheat in their relationship or marriage so um, it's safe to say you're gonna cheat again <laughs> wow not when i have a ring on it what about engaged you're just engaged you're engaged for a year that's a gray zone we're bored let's like either do a threesome or like let's have an open relationship no or, you know. well it's a conversation with you and your husband yeah mm -hmm. maybe he's down for it maybe he's not what, well, if, what, if he, what, what if he's not then we'll have to figure something out but i won't cheat i will not cheat okay maybe Ooh. divorce <laughs> So, is this what men have to pick from? I don't have oh much to say about God. this clip. It speaks for itself. Brothers, select your partner wisely and mm -hmm. make sure you know who you are dealing with, especially exactly. if you are looking for someone to build a family with. Mm -hmm. If you like the video, can you support me by subscribing to the channel? It will motivate me to work and post daily for our community. Let's check some comments of this video. There is never an excuse for cheating even once. Thank you. She's not for the streets. She's for the galaxy. <laughs> Every man thinks just like her. LOL. Wow. So sad to hear this.
Stay faithful or stay single. She thinks it's cute, but it's just pathetic. Lie. Lady, just keep quiet. You're not normal. You give us decent ladies the bad reputation. You get... This is just embarrassing. I speak for my queens out here. Not all women cheat. Mm -hmm. I can speak for the women like myself who have standards. From a divorce attorney. Wait. Here she says that people should cheat at least, at least once and looking for ways to justify cheating you're in a relationship with somebody now whatever you want to do in your relationship that's your business if you want to have an open relationship is your freaking business we don't want to know we don't care to know but if you're that type of person then you should discuss it with your partner bringing in somebody to have threesome you should dis discuss it with your partner if you're you and your partner you're into those type of things then that's fine but saying that oh because you you're engaged it's, it's still an open window to check out somebody out there or to cheat. Wow. Like what the other person said, she doesn't belong to the street, she belongs to the galaxy. Like, this is insane. I really feel so sad. Like, this is unacceptable. You can't go out to say, oh, it's okay, it's cute to cheat. No, it's not. People don't even realize that when you're in a relationship with somebody, it means you is you and the person you're ready to work things out. Except you are into all of those freaky things. That's that's out of the way. But when we're talking about two people who are in a relationship, there should be no, no excuse to cheat. But yeah, people should cheat at least once. This is the first time I'm hearing it, but this just don't make sense. Never will it be okay. Never will it be acceptable or never will it make sense to me. Looking for reasons to justify cheating. But yeah, let's go on. The most common women cheaters are Number one, women who pay all the bills. Number two, social media influencers. Number three, nurses. Number four, flight attendants. Number five, breadwinners again. Let's read the most interesting comments of this video. Nurses? When the actual F do nurses find the time and energy to cheat? Hmm. This is actually very interesting. Why is it usually the breadwinners? Yeah, if I'm paying all the bills, I'm cheating too, so I get it. If she pays the bills, she's the man of the house. Hmm. Is this the green light to cheat as a man if you pay all the bills? Really dumb for a woman to cheat if she's the breadwinner. I'll take my alimony, thank you. Steve was my soulmate. Yeah, you, you shut up. You need to chill no more now. Because you came in between. You know where you are, what kind of fucked up shit you did. You don't need to reply back. It will go on. If you put your hand in between, this will go fucking on. Nobody's going to stop you. Whatever I get, I'll beat the fuck out of you. Don't bring your hand up for the next lap I give you. Get it? Yeah. Because you deserve it. This is only because you came between me and Steve. You know how many years I waited for this? This guy should be given a gold medal. He has done a great job. <laughs> this situation shows what most modern women are capable of doing. She said that her husband was her soulmate, but still, she decided to leave him just because she thought that this guy had money. Based on her actions, she values money more than love. Hmm. This is a good lesson for all of you, my brothers. I want you guys to go into a relationship with the right mindset. Make sure that you are aware of this type of things. Make sure that you know that women are capable of doing this. It's better to go into a relationship with the right mindset to avoid deep disappointment. Now we are going to read the most interesting comments of this video. Save this man at any cost. We need more gold diggers like this to get exposed. I believe her husband is most luckiest man alive. Hardly soulmate, if money was all it took for you to leave him. She says, I left my soulmate for you. You said you're loaded, but you turned out to be broke and a delivery driver. LOL. The guy done a good job. So, she left her soulmate for a man who she thought was rich. This makes no sense. She left a guy for money, 
and is mad at the other guy except herself? She got what she deserved. If her husband was really her soulmate, why did she go with the other guy? Because of the possibility of money? I bet her ex-husband is laughing now. LOL. My soul is smiling. People never ceases to amaze me. She left her husband, call him soulmate, because she thought the person she's going to meet, meet have got money more than her husband. Safe to say that she just after money. Wow. This is so interesting. So people do this. If I'm getting this straight, she is angry at the man for deceiving her, but not at herself for being a gold digger. So much for being responsible. But these are just a few out of many that we're seeing. But yeah, let's go on. My soul is smiling. My heart is smiling. My brain cries because of happiness. You saved a life. Give this man a Nobel. <laughs> man cannot can never deal with the like if a man start feeling insecure about you cheating like that is just something that they, he just can't handle. <laughs> can't, well, well, they can't handle it. it's not even about handle is a man will not accept a woman that's cheating a woman cheating is treason i don't right. condone cheating it's not no men can cheat and women can't cheat i'm just saying that is different let's check some comments of this video yeah. more men accept cheating than you know when a woman cheats she doesn't love you Men can cheat and feel nothing for the females they cheat with. Huge difference. If a woman has cheated on more than one partner in her life, she's not dating or marriage material. Her mindset is flawed and will probably never change or can be reactivated depending on triggers or environment. Don't waste your time on a woman who has a pattern of cheating. Don't y'all realize if a man or woman do it, it's still called cheating? Mm -hmm. Quite trying to minimize the if it less wrong or not so bad if a man does it. Look up cheating in the dictionary. Gender is not identified. Thank you. There'll be a day where she regrets the decision she made. There'll be a day where she understands that she fucked up and her life would have been better if she kept me. And I'm going to prove it to her. I want all of you to work and improve yourself every day, but do it for yourself. The best payback is when they see you living a better life, especially if you have a new relationship with a woman who looks better than her. This is how real men do it. Let's read the most interesting comments of this video. Focus on yourself and you'll win. Don't need to prove nothing. Forget and move on. I swear to God I will prove to her. I know myself more than anyone, especially when I swear to God. I swear to God I will prove to her. I know myself more than anyone, especially when I swear to God. But most importantly, do it for yourself, not for her. Prove to yourself, not her. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe to give me more motivation and you will not miss my daily post. All I've just got to say is, regardless of who is cheating, who cheated, cheating is cheating, regardless of the gender. Nobody should be condoning cheating. I don't know what anybody's going to say. People are looking at it and painting it to say, oh, there, um, some particular uh, a man can cheat and because he has a good reason to cheat. Then women um, cheat because they don't love you. There is no reason to cheat and make it justifiable. Cheating is not something that we should be accepting or we should stand out, come out to say, oh, there is a reason why this person cheated or therefore... Um, let us just look for a way to um, there is no reason anybody should be justifying cheating and whether a man does it a woman does it cheating is cheating and that is it it's just so annoying that this day and age we look for reasons and say oh a man uh, does cheating because a, a man might, can cheat on you even though he doesn't love the other person then a woman will cheat on you but she loves the person she's cheating with there's no reason that is not acceptable i don't know what anybody's going to be saying but we should just scrap that and move on. But yeah, um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below based on this clip that we've seen here so far. I really love your honest contribution to this. Can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.